Hey, what is up guys? Guitar out here. Welcome back to another Nikkei Goddess of Victory video. Alright, so I know you guys might have noticed a couple of things. My game looks a bit different. It's running in widescreen. So you guys might be wondering, what did I do? How did I get it to work this way? And with that, of course, I'm here to tell you guys of today's sponsor, LD Player. Alright, so this video sponsored by LD Player. Now again, to do this, you just need LD Player. Alright, so if you run this on any emulator at all, I'm not sure if this will work on any other emulator, but it's pretty simple. All you need to do is just force landscape. Now, LD Player is an Android emulator. I've talked about this emulator a lot of times, multiple times on the channel before. Long time partner of the channel. When you use LD Player 9, you can basically go to the settings right here. Alright, go here, go under settings. Under the other settings, there's this, alright, so ability to forcibly lock landscape. Just click, enable, and it's just that simple. Just save settings afterwards, and you will be able to run Nikkei Goddess of Victory using LD Player and running it in this widescreen mode as you can see. Now, so far, it seems to be working just fine, you know. Obviously, in some menus, there are some black screen here and there, but in most cases, it's been running pretty smooth. It's running fine, all right, it's running just fine in this widescreen mode whatsoever. So I'll have my referral link in the description below. If you guys are interested, feel free to download LD Player via my referral link. All right, so before we start off with today's video, plenty of coupon codes for you guys. I'll have it uh, again in the description, in the pinned comment, wherever you can find them. Now, how do you use uh, this coupon codes? You gotta press on the bell icon, right? At the top, right? Block on my face cam, but hopefully you guys know where that is. This thing called the CD Key Redemption Portal, tap to enter, and then you'll be brought to this menu. So all you need to do is just insert the the you know the, the CD key that I've given you guys. Just press redeem. Oh no, there's max usage for the codes. Alright, so not all of this works. Some of it has reached the uh you know max usage. I don't know what that means. But fortunately, there are some that works. I'll go I'll link all of it so that you guys can check it out for yourself as well. All right, let's talk a little bit about Nikkei, about the game, and then talk a little bit about team building, which is something I believe this is like a beginner trap. If you are not aware of what you are doing, uh, it's going to be something that's quite hard as well moving forward. Now let's jump into Ark uh, since the red dot is bothering me. So we're gonna complete my interception first. Uh, I believe I still got one more to do. Okay, so now you guys might be aware of how to roughly build characters already or might at least, you know, have played through the tutorial at this point, I hope, and know that each character will have different uh, ultimate uh, combo, right? So some of them are like uh, combo number one, some of them are combo number two, some of them are combo number three. So this Alter Saint right here, so I'm just fully fully auto, just gonna hopefully beat this guy as soon as we can. So far you can see the game is running smoothly. Uh, this stage you can farm 3 times a day to be able to grab gears. Alright, so hopefully make sure you guys are aware of that. Now Nikkei is an idle game. I think, uh, I don't know how many of you guys know this going into this game. I think some people did not. Some players aren't aware of that. Uh, they thought that this game is going to be much more similar to like a, you know, like a sweep style game and then with PvP and everything else. But yeah, this game is apparently quite different. Okay, so let's hopefully we take care of this boss ASAP. Okay, mission clear. I will take that. Okay, good gears. Now I think the biggest mistake that a lot of players are gonna run into uh, in terms of rerolling is they're gonna reroll a bunch of the top tier characters and then they will realize that building a team with them is going to be extremely difficult because of uh, the ability that they have in terms of the ultimate, right? So what do I mean by that? So this character Scarlet, her ultimate ability is 3, as you can see this one right here. So the number signifies that. So what do you need to know is each character has their own burst, right? For example, uh, for this character N102, she is burst 1. A lot of these characters, for example, I, if I filter them out by burst 1, these are the characters that are burst 1. N102, Mika, Neon, Eater. So these are the characters that I have. Some of you guys might have different characters. So if I look at my burst 2 character, now you can see I have different characters, uh, different character lists in 
in here, right? So we have Diesel, we have Anis, we have Novel, Delta, ETC. And then go into Burst 3, these are the characters that I have, Drake, Scarlet, Rappi, Glutine, ETC, ETC. Now, if you have a team consists of only, let's say, Burst 3 characters, uh, let's say these 5, I have like these 5 in a team, it won't work, right? So you want to have also a proper squad, each variety of burst, which is why Diesel is quite good, right? So Diesel is bad, but she's also she's also useful to fulfill your burst too because you are going to need burst too. So I do think that Anis is going to be better. Uh, I do like Anis more after using both of them. Uh, I do obtain novel slightly uh, just earlier today, which is really, really lucky using the fragmenting. High quality mole. 60% chance to get SSR. Wow. Wow. What do you guys think? We got novel. But hey, um, yeah, building a team, make sure you guys keep this at the back of your mind, all right? You want to always have at least one burst one, one burst two, and one burst three. Don't just fill in with a bunch of SSR characters that has the same type of burst, all right? So that way, your ultimate activation is going to be a bit wonky in the battle, and you know, your characters might underperform not to their fullest potential. So hopefully, that's the tip of the day for you guys uh, after figuring out because if you guys are still like rerolling right now, right? Now I figure I'll give you guys a sample as well. This is from pride1.gg again. As you can see, uh, a good sample right here is uh, Anis, Diesel, Rappi, and then we have N102 and Neon. Now this is a pretty free to play team, uh, pretty easily accessible to a lot of players out there, right? So in auto mode and in manual mode, you can swap the orders around slightly. So you can see that's how you want to go with it. Now there's also team for rerollers, uh, depending on who do you reroll for. If you get Heron, this is a good one. If you get Scarlet, like this is a, a decent team composition right here. Or Heron and Scarlet reroll, right? So I'll leave uh, the post to you guys in the description as well, so you guys can check it out for yourself. Alright, let's show you guys a little bit in the story. Right now I'm chapter 4-14, as you guys can see. Uh, usually I'll just auto through it, but yeah, if you need to manual, like the most recent stage was actually quite difficult, so that one I had to manual a little bit. The loading time is, yeah, the loading times can be a bit, a bit long, a little bit annoying. So, uh, this is the battle system, it's pretty straightforward, you basically choose a character to aim with, uh, I'm sure you guys, you know, are familiar with the gameplay by now. And yeah, you get to stare at some ass cheeks while your characters are basically you know, surviving, hopefully, taking cover behind the the all these protective uh, barricades. And that seems to be the boss. Uh, hopefully, we'll be able to beat this easily. So you notice that full bursting? That's because I'm able to activate, you know, burst 1, burst 2, burst 3. You want to always have that. If not, you won't be able to activate full burst at all in your battle. And it's going to feel a little bit like, I think you're going to lose some damage potential right there. So yeah, uh, that's gonna be it for the video guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Big shout out to LD Player for sponsoring today's video. If you guys are interested to download LD Player using my referral link, I'll have it in the description below. So yeah, uh, as always guys, if you guys haven't already, subscribe to the channel, give this video a like, and I'm gonna go play more Nikkei. Have a nice day. Goodbye.